Hi. This is um, day four. Okay, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, seven. Ah, this is day five of my uh, raw food lifestyle. Uh, now, yesterday I had a bit of bread. I didn't want it, but they were nice enough at work to make me this uh, a vegetarian sandwich, which uh, was great. The food at work is beautiful. It's amazing. And, uh, you know, they went to all this trouble, so I had the sandwich, so they sent me home with four more. <laughs> it's a catering company. So what I did this morning, I took all the veg out of out of the sandwich and had a big salad for breakfast and threw the bread away. Uh, oh yes, cravings. I haven't had any cravings. Uh, they were cooking beef at work last night and uh, it smelled good but once I wasn't looking at it you know, I didn't really care. And, uh, because I've been, I've been mostly veg for years. Very little meat. Uh, but I've been cooking it. Now, that is expensive because I find it is true. I eat a lot more if it's cooked. Uh, I think because it's easy to chew, easy to swallow, it's easier to put down large amounts. So uh, this raw is great because uh, I, I have a nice bowl of salad and it takes half an hour, 40 minutes to eat. It takes like a, a long time and it's great. Uh, when I cooked my food, I'd eat and poop it out before 40 minutes. Uh, so this raw is working great for me, wonderfully. Um, still no no joint pain. Uh, oh yes, as for pooping, well, whenever I make a change, my body reacts immediately. Uh, so I'm back to normal with my pooping regularity. Uh, yes. Oh, the bread. Because I had that big sandwich at work last night. A really big sandwich. Um, I feel these things immediately. And today I was I felt bloated. So, I, so I'm assuming it was the bread. Because... Uh, that was the foreign thing I brought into my body, uh, as opposed to the veg. Now, for example, if I have two cans of soda pop, or one can of soda pop for like two days, then I notice that like I'm bloating and I can't go down. So I notice these things. By the way, Coke Zero does not do that, and I know I'll have to give up Coke Zero, but uh, I have a bit left, and when it's done, I'll give it up. But for now, it's really good. I guess that's everything. I'm happy. I'm healthy. Uh, I started eating grapefruit uh, a few months ago just in, you know, for my blood pressure, just in case, and it really changed my whole attitude around, uh, but that's a bit of a long story. Now, I, the thing is, with just eating raw veg, I'm not as angry, I'm not as jumpy, so uh, I find that great. I will close with a few shots of that sandwich that I talked about. And believe me, these guys make a great sandwich. 
uh, but tomorrow or the next post I will show something that every restaurant does. Every restaurant. Um, so even though I took these pictures at work, believe me, you'll be amazed. And there is nothing wrong with it, but it's just not good. But that is tomorrow's story. Today's story is uh, my joints are good, feeling wonderful. wonderful. I'm not angry still, and uh, I had a great salad this morning, and I'll show close with pictures of that great sandwich. That's if the video worked out. Anyways, keep on eating that raw food and put up more videos for me to watch because I really enjoy watching the videos and one day someone hopefully will watch one of these videos. Anyways, oh yes, I also have a video about a tomato question. I seem to have some creature eating my tomatoes. And that's cool, because, you know, I don't use pesticides or anything, so, and my tomatoes have all been harvested, so I don't mind. But I'm just interested to know what creature, mice or something, I guess, are getting at my tomatoes that are still on the vine. Anyways, uh, I had a bunch of notes, but obviously I didn't uh, I didn't read them or use them. So uh, this is a lousy video, but I do enjoy making them. Anyways, by the way, after five days, just so you know, this is a before shot. If you can see my belly. And afterwards, I hope to look like this. Well, who knows? Anyways, have a great day. Enjoy the raw food. And remember, eat locally. Go to your local farmer's market. Support these people. That way there will be more local people growing good, wholesome, healthy food. And keep on putting up videos, because I love watching your videos. So let's all get out there and eat. This is one of my tomatoes. I am having a problem with, I believe, mouse damage. I'm not sure, but uh, if any of you know uh, what kind of critter is doing this, I mean, it's the end of the year, I've taken my tomatoes, I don't mind, but uh, yeah. It uh, starts off with a little chewing, then a few days later there's all this insides dug out. So, uh, you know, that's... Anyways, if you're in the... Uh, I'm in Canada, but if you're in a northern area and you know what does this, let me know. But I'm sure it's mice. Anyways, I'll just throw that over here in the garden.